Hey folks, <clears throat> Ben here. Um, just wanted to show you uh, the thing I'm working on. I mentioned it in the last uh, show 82 of Mario Speedruns. Uh, the idea is extra time. That's the concept. So, uh, yeah, I think the idea of showing the full run of uh, a Moria game uh, you know, I've done that with uh, 30 Minutes of Umoria. I've done that. So people don't really need to see the whole game. I'm trying to make something halfway entertaining. So the idea is to kind of try to cut out the boring stuff and just have when something happens. Because, you know, it's a grind. There's a lot of the same thing again and again. So maybe we don't have to do that. Maybe with extra time, uh, we can just uh, uh, clip out automatically the parts that we uh we want to keep does that make sense um yeah so i want to keep playing afterwards and then i'll just click a button the extra time button and it will automatically edit that in <clears throat> so before the recap we have these snippets of where stuff happens maybe it's a large chunk who knows so yeah so here's what i have it's called extra time uh, the first thing I want to show you, I guess, is the uh, the little intro thing. So I made this, the, the little uh, transition to go from uh, playing to, you know, extra time. Uh, it's very quick. <laughs> it's very quick. And you, you did not hear it. There's no oh, kids on my headphones. Here we go again. Uh, full screen. Yeah, you still can't really hear it, but it's the paper sound, two pop sounds, like boop, boop, as extra time gets bigger, and then another paper sound. And it's much quicker than the other ones, so it's just boop, boop. So that's the idea. Um, okay, the next thing is, uh, after the timer is done, we're going to run the extra time program. And that is the button on the screen. The button is going to occupy the exact same place as the timer. So here's the timer. We kick all this off. That's the normal 24 minute run. It sets up all the colors and everything and the shape of it. Uh, when it's done after 24 minutes, we run extra time, extra time right there. And we give it a file. And we also give it the starting time uh, that we started the video so it can know what offset we are in it. So let's run that. Um, well, I need the time, don't I? To get the a time that's around now, I can do that. Extra time. Tester, you know. And give it this. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> What's up with that? Why does that seg fault? I that was working yesterday, folks. Okay, let's debug that. Let's just go in here and we'll make install. Make sure this is uh Huh What's going on? Okay, we're gonna run GDB here, folks. Real quick, like. And GDB is gonna point us to where the problem is. Testerino, and then a time. Backtrace. Okay, you can see here, it's, uh, oh. I know what the problem is. Because I wrote the code. I got to do this. <laughs> but now I need a new date. All right. I should fix that. But I'm always, I know the way I code it, I'm always going to have a, uh, a fraction. Nanosecond. Okay, I'm a bit concerned why that's there. Shouldn't that be up a bit? What's going on? 
Is it broken? I don't know. That might have to change right there, folks. Or you know what? Maybe it's just too long. Maybe it needs to be shortened horizontally. What do you think? Hmm. Kind of want to start a timer to see where it goes. Let's do that. Problem number two. Extra time is not uh, putting itself where the timer is. I thought I... It's the right width, but the vertical is not on. Huh. Anyway, show you how this works first. Extra time. Click. And now we're in extra time. Testerino hasn't done anything yet because we haven't unclicked it. <laughs> So, the idea is that we've picked up something and we're going to identify it. Hey, I want you guys to see it. So I click extra time and I do a little spiel. This is where we're at. This is what we're doing. And what is it? It's a, uh, it's a defender. Oh my God, isn't that great? And then I'm done. So I say, uh, I don't know what I would say. Because I don't know if there's another extra time or we're going to charts. I guess I wouldn't say anything. I'm figuring this out as I go, folks. And extra time off. So all it does is it makes this record. And what this says is 143 seconds into the video, <clears throat> there is a 40 second duration extra time. And I can do another one. All right? And then there's two. This one's much shorter. And you can see it happens after. One to 143. Ta-da! So there's the transition, and here is the, the GUI thing, and he, that is the, the mechanism by which we're recording the timestamps. Lots of fractions. Okay, uh, I don't like where extra time goes, though. Should be on top, so let's fix that right now, shall we? Fix that in Devil's Pie. Uh, the time's up is the thing right so why and I just copied that to make uh, extra time go there it's identical 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 um, alright I guess uh, we can just modify what this what's going on here which one do you suppose is uh, vertical probably this one eh Hmm. All right. Why would it be like that? Kind of baffling. Is it because the undecorated window was after? Don't know. Gonna change that. And now we have to restart uh, Devil's Pie. So we open up another window. And we run it again. You know what? It's in a weird place. Maybe it's not. What's going on there? Config, auto start. You know what it is. There's Devil's Pie 2, and that will contain the command we need. There it is. Kill all two. Devil's Pie 2, and... Alright, this will restart Devil's Pie and move extra time. See, that's way off. What's with that? How come it does that? And I have changed that to 437. It's on the money. Huh. All right. Uh, 
Okay. So 100 is too much. Let's try 80. So that's like 387. Okay, now we're moving it. We're just, we're just about there. 397. Bang on. That is done. Extra time. Perfect. Okay, moving on. Uh, the next thing is... Um, what is the next thing? Yeah, so we're done recording. And we want to fashion these... Uh, extra time snippets into the video. I can uh, probably exit that. Exit that. Don't need a timer. Um, hmm. Is there anything else? Don't think so. So here's the deal. I used to have, you might recall, the speed run video assembler. And that was a really dumb program that just took a skeleton PTV file and it popped in the values using said, that's all it did. <laughs> but I've done better. I, I made this thing called XGES create. I think I've talked about that before in another one of these. And it's pretty complicated. And it's command line video editing. So what I did was I uh, create recreated a more a speed run video assembler SPVDAS uh, using XGES create. So it takes in a bunch of files, right? Takes in all the video components to put it together. At the I've gone over this before, but the new part is uh, the extra time transition. That's that that uh, transition video I showed earlier. And there's that file, that file that I showed you earlier. So where it's one record per thing. Down here at the bottom is where we just we kind of make our XGES command. Uh, one interesting thing is uh, why well, it's just a thing that has to happen, I guess. Well, it doesn't artifact of how I'm doing it. Um, yeah, I pass in uh, nanoseconds. So one, uh, one second is one and then nine zeros. But XGES Create wants these times as uh, decimals, as uh, real numbers as fractions, as what do you want to call them? Floating point numbers? Yeah. So one second is 1.0 in this. So let me just go over this real quick uh, um, without talking about extra time. Oh, the beeping is going on again today. Ugh. <laughs> Never stops. Never stops. I don't know what they're doing. But they use this... Uh, now they use this huge frigging crane lift to check things on the outside of their building. And they check it every month. I don't know what they're looking at. Maybe the building's going to fall down. Don't know. But it takes two guys to go up there and look. Anyway. So there's two layers. Here's the start of the second layer. The first layer is just uh, things with green screen, right? Things where we're going to uh, transition. <clears throat> so there's the intro. Um, and this is after the... What is that? This isn't really in order, I don't think. Because it goes wheel next, then transition, then recap, then credits. Um, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Um, duration is passed in. It's just however long the, the video is. It's not passed in. It's just we do the math. Then the position is the hard part. Up here in the 
in the SPVVAS script, uh, a lot of math is put into where exactly to put this. These all have places, and it depends on how long the other video files are. Um, in the bottom chunk, we have our, our animated blurb, right? It has a position. <clears throat> but now we have these starts. So somewhere in the video file, we'll start uh, playing it at that point. Uh, position is where in our timeline, where in our the timeline of the video we're creating, uh, it goes. And then start is where in that, uh, in the source video, do we start playing it from? And duration is how long from there do we play it? So anyway, that's that. And we go up to recap and then credits happens up here. Ta-da! So that's XGS Create. It's really cool. I, I like it. Like I've saved so much code doing this. And I spelled it all out in long uh, options so that you can understand what's going on. So that I can understand what's going on. And doesn't it look nice, isn't it? It's kind of cool. The one thing I can't do is, uh, is have all the extra time stuff in one place because it actually goes over two layers. So anyway, uh, for every extra time thing, we have a transition and then we have a segment. So if we have two transitions, we'll have two segments. Makes sense, right? Anyway, um, yeah, so that's the plan. And there's a lot of, and there's a lot of code up here to make that variable fill out to something that kind of looks like that, right? And uh, that is the same thing. It's, it's trying to fill out a bunch of clips here by filling, you know, we got to find out where the position is, find out where the start is, find out what the duration is. It comes from that file, right? Anyway, that's that gobbledygook there. Yay, Bash. So that's what it is. I have some testing to do. Um, I don't know if this works. No clue. Um, that's what I'm going to do now. Sounds like the beeping has stopped. So I might run a whole episode and then go into extra time. Then it's either going to work or it's not. <clears throat> I don't know. But I'm in the testing phase of this thing. I don't know quite how it's going to work. I don't know if I'm going to uh, shorten the, the timed portion. Just don't know. What I, I need some feedback here, folks. Uh, what is going to make uh, Mario speedruns more interesting, right? I don't know. You would know better than me, probably. So that's that. I'll leave it there. And I'm going to do some testing. And I uh, might get show 83 in as a result of doing this testing. All right, take it easy. Bye-bye.